our last lesson for Unit 3. This is Lesson 11. Okay, interpreting graphs and functions, just reading graphs, understanding what they're telling you. Okay, and so for example, this one, the first one, so the Carter family are driving to Yukon for a family vacation. The graph represents the amount of fuel in liters in the gas tank of their car on the first day of their journey. So you kind of see, kind of think about what's happening right here. Yeah, they're driving. They're losing fuel, right? So they're driving right there from, from A to B. From B to C, what's happening? Yeah, they're parked probably, the en engine's off, F filled up, driving again, stopped an eight maybe, drove a bit, filled up, and then drove a bit. So all there's declining is the, how much, like the fuel that's going out, obviously the straight ups is filling up the tank. Okay, so it says we reference the journey, explain what's happening between A and B. Driving, so you can write driving right there. B and C, parked or engine's not running. Let's put parked, it's fine. And then C and D, fueling up. Okay. Well, we good? What are you guys calculating? Okay. <laughs> okay, what's the rate of the consumption in liters per hour between D and E? So you gotta look at D and E. So right here, we're trying to figure out how much liters per hour they used. So first off, you have to figure out how much liters they used. So liters they used is 60 to 25. So they used 35 liters. That's how much they used. Okay, and then what's the time? D is 8, 9, 10, 30 to 1, 2 to 2 o'clock. Okay, 10, 30, 2 o'clock is three and a half hours. So they use 35 liters in three, to five, three and a half hours. Therefore, they're using about 10 liters an hour, right? 35 divided by 3.5, you just do this. That makes it liters per hour. So 35 divided by 3.5 is 10 liters per hour. That's their fuel consumption. 10 liters per hour. Okay, questions? Good. Which line segment represents the car being refueled for the second time? That would be G to H, right? So write G to H there. Calculate the total time when the car is being driven. So we're trying to find when the car is being driven. So it means we want, we want this piece, this piece, this piece, and this piece. All those downward slants is being driven because it's using gas, right? So we want to calculate that. So let's see here. This would be one, two, three hours. We already did this one. It's three and a half. One hour, one hour. So 6.5, 7.5, 8.5 hours is how long the car's been driven. 8.5 hours. If the fuel costs 85 cents per liter, calculate the cost of fuel used for the first day of the journey. So we need to figure out how much fuel they use on every time it's going downward, right? So same thing here. From here, 50 to 20, they used 30 here, 30 liters. Didn't use any, got some. We don't have to do that because we're gonna figure out how much they used. This is refueling, so we're not gonna count this twice. We're gonna look how much they used. Okay, so this would be 60 to 25, so we know that one is 35. We know this one is, let's see, what is that? That's 25 to 15, you guys think? Okay, so 10, and then 60 to 50 for 10 more liters. So 65, 75, 85 liters they used. So we go down here, and we're gonna go 85 times 0.85. That's liters, that's the price. Okay, I believe you get 17.25 if I remember from last class. 
Or is it 72? Yeah, not 17. Thank you. 72. 72.25 is how much money they'll spend on gas. Okay? All right, we're almost done. Just a possible scenario for each of the following graphs. So this is up to you. What, how, what could you use to describe this graph here? Okay, when I could do it, I'm trying to think about being on Highway 1. I'm going at a high speed on Highway 1. I exit. I go a little bit slower until I get off the exit ramp. And I pick up my speed. Maybe I'm in an 80 zone. I kind of slow down, and then maybe I'm into my driveway. Okay, so you can kind of describe that. That's how what's happening. You can, do, you can do your own. This one is kind of like driving in the city. Stoplight. 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 Okay, something like that. Okay, figure out what you want to do. You can describe it however you want. There's not a specific way to do those. Try to make sure you make sense, okay? <laughs> okay, give you a couple more seconds here. Okay, this one, gets a graph of no scale for each of the following, the oven temperature and baking pie. So if you just, when your kids said you're gonna bake a pie, the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna preheat the oven. So it's gonna go from zero to the temperature you want. Then it's gonna stay at that temperature while you're baking the pie until you turn the oven off and then it's gonna go back down to zero. Okay, so that could be the example of temperature of a baking of a pie. Uh, ben taking part in the 100 meter sprint He's going to get speed up, and then he's going to top out a little bit, and then he's going to get tired, and then he's going to coast to the finish. Okay, well, maybe not coast, but like he'll like, maybe this is the finish line, then he slows down to where he stops, like he's done with the race. So that could be an example of a sprint. Okay? All right, that is all for lesson 11. Like I said, short.